Yo guys, welcome to our channel today. The channel is Nazvin, and kindly I want to encourage you. If you have not subscribed, please I want to encourage you to subscribe. Today we are going to talk about the 12 tips for men trying to conceive, or in short, how to conceive as a man. Sit back and watch this channel. The channel is Nazvin, and kindly if you have not subscribed, I want to encourage you to subscribe because that's the best way in which you can always support us. Like the video, give a nice comment below. We are in a journey to 10,000 subscribers very soon. We are getting there. Kindly check on the subscription and that will take us to 10,000. So 12 tips for men trying to conceive is our topic for today. I'm going to talk about something sensitive and also uh, to uh, what, what really affects men. And when we talk about conception, we mean there must be a sperm and also there is, must be an over from the lady, especially. That is what gives, uh, that's what brings about uh, conception. Uh, for introduction part of it, I'm going to talk about a healthy sperm. Healthy sperm, that's what I'm going to talk about. Uh, because a healthy sperm determines uh, the way or the process of conception. If that, if that sperm is not healthy, we get to have a lot of challenges. And uh, if we get into those challenges, uh, we get that uh, uh, conceptions beca conception becomes a very big issue at that particular point. So when we talk about health sperm, we are talking about uh, the, what is the role of uh, health sperm in infertility and the conception. So and there are factors that contribute to healthy sperm. Number one is about sperm count. When we talk about sperm count, we are talking about uh, the number of cells or sperm cells in semen, which is a very essential factor in male fertility. Healthy sperm count uh, is considered by, to be at least uh, 15 million uh, sperm per milli millimeter of semen. So we are, we are talking about at least 15 million uh, per milli milli milliliter uh, of semen. So that is what we are talking about, sperm count. Number two, we are talking about what we call sperm motility. And when we talk about sperm motility, sperm motility refers to the ability of the sperm to move effectively. So a healthy, a healthy sperm should uh, be able to progress, uh, to be progressive in motility, meaning that they move forward in a straight line. So motility is essential for sperm to reach the egg on the female side of it. So we are talking about sperm motility, which is a very essential thing. Number three, we talk about uh, sperm morphology. When we talk about morphology of the sperm, we are talking about uh, refers to the size and the shape of the sperm cells. So healthy sperm should uh, have a normal morphology uh, with over shaped head and long tail so that uh, we have a straight and also a straight tail. When we talk about morphology, uh, for, we are talking about the size and shape of the sperm cell. So health sperm should have a normal morphology with uh, an oval shaped head and a long and a straight tail. So that's what you talk about morphology. Abdominal morphology can affect uh, sperm's ability to penetrate the, uh, and fertilize the egg uh, on the other end of the lady. Number four, we talk about sperm concentration. Sperm concentration refers to the density of sperm cells in the semen. So high sperm concentration increases the chances of fertilization uh, during uh, the intercourse at that particular point. Number four or five is we're talking about sperm uh, viability. And when we talk about sperm viability, it refers to the ability of the sperm cells to survive and remain functional so, so that healthy sperm should have high uh, viability to ensure that they can fertilize the egg successfully. So sperm viability, very important, so that we can get to have that uh, uh, fertilization taking place or conception uh, taking place at that particular point. Number six, we talk about semen volume. Semen volume refers to the amount of fluid ejaculated uh, during the orgasm. So this uh, sperm uh, volume is very important and a healthy semen uh, volume should be between 
1.5 to 5 uh, milliliters 5 1.5 uh, to uh, 5 milliliters very important that volume is very important and also last but not least we talk about the uh, pH level and when we talk about the pH level we are talking about the pH of cement should be within specific uh, range to support the sperm health and also motility an optimal pH level is slightly alkaline and typically ranging from 7.2 to 8.0 so that is very important when, when we talk about optimal pH level is uh, we are talking about the, to be alkaline ranging from 7.2 in the pH uh, exercise where it takes it from uh, 7.2 to 8.0 uh, uh, guys factors that uh, affect sperm health include uh, lifestyle factors such as diet, exercise, smoking, alcohol consumption, and exposure to environmental toxins. So maintaining a healthy lifestyle, including balanced diet, uh, regular exercise, avoiding harmful substances, and also which can help promote the health and improve the uh, fertility. So if you have concerns about your sperm health or fertility, it's essential to consult with the healthcare provider or a fertility specialist uh, specialist for evaluation and also guidance so guys when we talk about health sperm should have we should we talk about sperm count we talk about sperm motility we talk about sperm morphology we talk about sperm concentration concentration we talk about sperm viability we talk about semen volume we talk about about also the ph levels to come up with the conclusion that this is a, a healthy sperm so, because this health sperm participates in uh, where now one can really uh, uh, get to fertilize that ova, or the sperm can get to fertilize that ova, so we want to see uh, 12 tips for men trying to, to, to get a baby or get, make a lady pregnant. Uh, I'm going to have a small topic called 12, 12 tips for men trying to conceive. So if as a man you are trying to conceive, as a lady you are also trying to conceive because it takes two to tango, it's very important to watch these 12 tips and also know what it entails. Number one is about uh, when you want really to conceive, uh, this is number one tip which you should uh, be on your ground is about maintaining a healthy, healthy lifestyle. And when we talk about health lifestyle, this is what I've mentioned also in our previous videos. Eat a balanced diet, rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grain, uh, lean proteins, uh, and healthy fats. So avoid excessive alcohol consumption, smoking, and uh, recreational drug use like marijuana and other drugs uh, that such as cocaine, as this can negatively impact the sperm uh, quality. So maintaining a healthy lifestyle is tip number one if you want to conceive. Number two tip, we talk about maintaining a healthy weight. Obesity can affect sperm quality and the fertility. Aim to maintain a healthy weight through regular exercise and nutrition, uh, nutrition di nutritious diet. So maintaining a, maintaining a healthy weight because obesity can affect quality and the fertility. Aim to maintain a healthy weight and also through regular exercise so that and also maintain that nutritious uh, diet. Number three, very important, stay hydrated. In my previous videos, I've talked about how you should be hydrated. We talk about six to eight glasses in a day. That's very important so that you get to hydrate your body well. And when you are hydrated well, uh, by drinking plenty of water to support the overall health and also the sperm production. Number four, limit exposure to toxins. Uh, minimize exposure to environmental toxins, chemicals, and the pollutants that can harm uh, sperm uh, production. When we talk about uh, exposure to toxins, uh, we know what really happened in Japan, in Japan about the, the, when we had the Second World War, when the Nagasaki uh, war, uh, um, bombing occurred at that particular point, and it really affected the population through even the production and also it affected the men's sperm count and also a lot of issues where we got a lot of abnormal babies being born at that particular point. So toxins are very particular 
and they can affect even the reproduction at that particular point. So when as much as possible, let us avoid exposure to prolonged heat also, such as hot tubs and also saunas, and minimize contact with the pest pesticides, the, the, the chemicals we use to spray our uh, our herbs or our vegetables and also sperm production. That's why organic organic foods are very important for also this part of uh, limiting the exposure to the toxins. Also avoid tight underwear, men. Uh, so op opt for loose fitting uh, underwear and clothing to avoid overheating of the testicles which can negatively impact the sperm production. So avoid tight, tight underwears, guys. Even ladies, I help your men to avoid these uh, tight, uh, tight underwears because they affect the production of this, uh, the sperms. Reduce also stress. Stress is a very, uh, is a, is a, they say it's a silent killer. So stress, chronic uh, stress can affect hormone levels and sperm production. And I can't believe you have not watched the video I did about men in hormonal imbalance. You can have a look at it. The role of the sterone in reproduction. You can uh, check on the uh, in our previous video where I did uh, with the title hormonal imbalance in men. It has a lot of views. You can have a look at it and also share with your, co your colleagues and friends so that we get to learn this knowledge. So uh, stress. Uh, uh, it's very healthy to get to practice stress reduction techniques such as meditation, yoga, deep breathing uh, exercises or engaging in hobbies and uh, activities that you get to enjoy guys. Also number seven, uh, get enough sleep. Aim of uh, around seven to nine hours of sleep. Sometimes it's not very possible to sleep all those hours but try as much as possible to sleep for seven to nine hours of quality sleep and uh, when we talk about quality sleep we don't mean that you just go and occupy the bed but uh, you you really need to have that quality time with yourself so that you get to rest well to give body to regenerate especially the protein synthesis in the body to get get uh, uh, to get activated because also the sperm has a level of those uh, proteins and also the resting with the resting of the body you get so that you get a uh, uh, you get that uh, uh, enough sleep of seven to nine hours, so that uh, repro your reproduction, uh, your reproduction uh, system is re activated in a very good way. Number eight: limit alcohol and caffeine. Excessive alcohol and caffeine consumption can negatively impact the quality and also uh, of, of sperm and also uh, affect your fertility. So this, uh, the alcohol and also the caffeine. They really affect on how you function uh, in that area of uh, sperm quality. So limit intake to moderate levels and if possible av avoid the alcohol and also the caffeine intake. Also exercise regularly. When we talk about exercise, uh, engaging in regular physical ex exercise such as uh, brisk walking. These things I have talked about them in our previous video. Jogging, swimming, weightlifting to support the overall health and also fertility. However, avoid excessive or intensive exercise as this may temporarily decrease sperm production. Number 10 is about avoid harmful substances like avoid uh, exposure to harmful substances, substances such as anabolic steroids, certain medications uh, which your healthcare provider can guide you over the same industrial chemicals and also that which can affect the uh, sperm production. So also number 11 is about maintaining good hygiene. Practice good hygiene habits including uh, regular bathing, wearing clean underwear and avoiding prolonged exposure to harsh chemicals or cleaning agents. Number 12, last but not least about seek medical advice. If you experience, uh, you or your partner experiences and you have been trying to conceive, it's always we advocate for uh, preconception care with you and your partner. You go for a checkup. Sometimes fertility test is done with your healthcare provider so that uh, your fertility specialist can really advise you on what is really needed so that you get uh, to conceive. 
so so that this specialist or your healthcare provider can provide guidance perform the tests like in men we do sperm counts i talked about uh, where you, your sperm sample is taken where now sperm count is, is done sperm motility is checked sperm morphology is, uh, is checked sperm concentration is checked sperm viability is checked semen volume is checked and also ph levels is checked so at that particular level and if there is any challenge at a particular point it's approached so that uh, you don't get a lot of issues when you are ready to conceive by following the, uh, these tips men can optimize their reproductive health and also increase the chances of conceiving with uh, their partner so guys uh, the 12 tips number one i've talked about maintaining healthy health care healthy, healthy lifestyle number two i've talked about maintaining the healthy weight number three i've talked about stay hydrated number four i've talked about limit exposure to toxins number five i've talked avoid uh, tight underwear number six i've talked about reduce stress number seven about uh, i've talked about getting enough sleep that we've talked about seven to nine hours of sleep Limit alcohol and caffeine intake or avoid this. Also, uh, maintain a good hygiene and also seek medical advice. Guys, welcome to our channel. Channel is Nasvin.